Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Educating Adventures where we teach science for kids who love animals. Today I'm so excited because we are going to be talking about a very, very cool group of birds and I'm wondering if anybody is already familiar with these birds. They live in the rainforest and they're known for having a long, colorful beak. If you are thinking of a toucan, you're exactly right. Today, we are learning about the toucan family. Let's get into it. There are more than 40 different species in the toucan family, and most of them live in tropical rainforests of Central and South America. Between the 40 species in this family, not all of them are called toucans. Some of them are called toucanets, some of them are called aracaris or araceres, and toucanets and aracaris do tend to be a little bit smaller than the rest of the toucan family, but because they're all related, they have quite a bit in common. One thing that lots of members of the toucan family have in common is that long, colorful bill that we mentioned before. Some toucans have a bill that is so long, it's more than half the length of their body. Crazy. Scientists have always kind of debated what the purpose of their bill is for, so let's talk about some of these ideas. For the color of their bill, some scientists hypothesize that those bright colors help them camouflage into all the bright colored plants that we find in rainforests where they live. Other scientists think that the color of their bill is more useful in attracting a mate to show off how beautiful they are. As for the length of their bill, most scientists agree that it comes in handy in getting their food. Most toucan species are what we call frugivores, which means most of their diet is fruit. Now some toucans are also omnivores, and they will eat some animals as well, like insects or other birds or small lizards, sometimes even eggs. But regardless of what they're eating, having that long bill helps them reach over to neighboring trees to pluck fruit or small animals off of other neighboring tree branches. Aside from using their bill to grab food from nearby branches, scientists do also think that their beaks come in handy when attracting a mate. Male toucans will fight with their beaks to show who's the biggest and the strongest, to show who's the more dominant toucan, because that's usually the one who ends up with the female. Once they've got their mate, they strengthen their bond by using their bills to toss food back and forth to one another. Now we haven't even gotten to the coolest thing about their beak yet. Recently, scientists have discovered that toucans may use their beaks for something called thermoregulation. Now, don't be afraid of that word. Thermo, meaning temperature. Regulation, meaning controlling. Thermoregulation is how an animal controls their body temperature. For toucans, heat can escape through their beak because they've got lots of blood vessels in there. So this could come in really handy on a warm day when they're trying to stay cool. Heat escapes and cools their body. Now, on the flip side of that, if it's a cool night, toucans might use their wing to cover up their beak, which actually traps heat inside and helps to keep them warm. Let's move on from the toucan's beak for just a moment. I want to talk about their wings. Compared to other birds, toucans have a pretty small wingspan, and scientists hypothesize that this actually helps them when they're flying around the rainforest. All the trees are so close together, there's branches and vines, so being a little bit smaller when flying can actually help them navigate. While they're flying around the rainforest, they do have one very important job. Remember how we said toucans are mostly frugivorous? They mostly eat fruit? Well, inside all that fruit is seeds. So as toucans are flying around the rainforest, and they go to the bathroom, 
they drop those seeds in their waste which spread out and help new plants to grow and keep the rainforest nice and healthy. We call that seed dispersing and we would call toucans very important seed dispersers. As toucans are flying around the beautiful rainforest dropping seeds, they're often pretty vocal as well. Toucans make a wide range of sounds, everywhere from a croaking sound, kind of like a frog, to a barking, growling sound, and they can even make a clicking sound with their beak. Now, they make these sounds for lots of reasons, to communicate with other toucans and to communicate with potential mates. Once toucans have found a mate, the most important thing that they have to do is find a nesting site. Toucans typically nest in holes in the side of really giant trees in the rainforest. And these holes can be formed by branches that have fallen off of the tree or even by woodpeckers. But this is one of the reasons that the rainforest is so important for toucans because they need these really old giant trees in order to nest. Once they have found the perfect nesting site and they construct their nest, Toucans will lay anywhere from about two to four eggs that are then cared for by both the mom and the dad toucan. It can take about eight weeks for the chicks to officially grow up and fledge from the nest to go off on their own. As they grow from a little chick to an adult toucan, their beak grows with them. It's very fascinating. Now, we said before that these old trees are very, very important for toucans, and this is one of the problems that they're facing in the wild. Deforestation is happening a lot in the rainforest where these toucans live. This is destroying their food source, and it's removing their nesting sites, which is a really big problem for toucans. On top of that, toucans are collected for the pet trade because People think they're beautiful and they want them either in their home or at a zoo near them. They're also hunted both for food and feathers and for their beaks. Because they have these beautiful beaks, people like to have them as decoration and they're often hunted specifically for their beaks. While it's hard to think about how we as individuals could help protect toucans, we certainly can. You can look for wood that is certified by the Forest Stewardship Council, or you can buy paper that's made from other recycled paper. And these are two very simple ways that you can help toucans. Okay, before we wrap up today, there's one more thing I want us to talk about. And actually, it's one more bird. A bird that's very commonly confused with a toucan, and that is a rhinoceros hornbill. People get them confused a lot because they both live in rainforests. They both have a long, colorful bill that they use to eat fruit. And they both nest in tree holes in these giant trees in rainforests. They do have a lot in common, but there are some things that make them really, really different. We mentioned earlier that toucans live in the Americas. Well, rhinoceros hornbills, they're not found in the Americas. They are found over in Asia. Rhinoceros hornbills also have this very large structure on the top of their beak called a cask. Scientists think it's used to help when fighting with other males for females. They also think it helps to make the rhinoceros hornbill sound a little louder, which is also different than a toucan sound because hornbills make a honking sound rather than the barking or growling or croaking that we mentioned before for the toucans. I wanted to mention the rhinoceros hornbill before we go today because these are two birds that are not really related, but they have developed lots of very similar adaptations. And we do see that many times with animals. When two animals have the same needs, and live in the same type of ecosystem, they often develop the same types of adaptations. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so, so much for learning about toucans with me today. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a lot of new toucan facts. If you wanna test your knowledge about toucans, 
Be sure to check out our Educating Adventures program where you can do quizzes, activities, and projects all about toucans. And I hope we see you next time at our next Educating Adventure. Bye!